so today i'm going to talk about differential diagnosis of oral mucosal patches for our convenience sake i have divided these patches into three sections one of them is red white and the one is mixed red and white patches so starting with the red patches it consists of few categories if you notice a legend or the history of a patient is presented in the form of signs where it is said that the condition has red areas with stria of keratosis most likely the diagnosis points towards lichen planus so if it's lichen planus then most likely lesions will be associated with the cheek or desquamative gingivitis so coming to the next then we go to the another category when the signs are noted of a lesion uh, that consist of red depapillated areas that are surrounded by a white rim especially when it's located on the dorsum of the tongue then most likely it points towards erythema migrans that is the geographical geographical tongue the next one consists of red areas with white shredded surface and if this thing is noticed on the border of the tongue or it's on the cheek then most likely it's resulting from a tongue or cheek biting habit then if you come across a lesion that is red in color but you are unable to identify what kind of lesion it is and you think it's in a high risk site like posterior lateral border of the tongue or floor of the mouth then the immediate thing is to do the biopsy to determine the kind of lesion and if you encounter this red lesion on a low risk site and we are not sure what kind of lesion is that so we will treat it as a candidosis until biopsy is completed so this was all about the red patches talking about the white patches we have few in this category if you notice the white part of the palate i mean if the lesion looks white in color and you notice some red spots in cluster on especially in a patient who is a pipe or cigar smoker then this points towards stomatitis nicotina now the key thing about this kind of lesion is that it's not present on the surface that is covered by a denture or any kind of prosthetics the next one is if you notice there are white flecks or or plaques that can be removed or rubbed off and when you remove those plaques and you observe the white erythematous base that is sore or tender or painful then most likely it points towards thrush or candidiasis and is treated with the antifungal treatment now if these lesions these white lesions appear in a high risk site just as we talked about the lesion red lesions and we are not sure what kind of white lesion is that just like that in posterior lateral border of the tongue or floor of the mouth then immediately biopsy is recommended and similarly if these lesions are in low risk site they are treated as candidosis till biopsy is completed in the category of mixed red and white we don't have much but one is same as candidosis because it can appear as a red lesion white lesion or as a mixed lesion that appears both red and white the another category is speckled erythroplasia it do appears as a mixed red and white and there is one category that's chronic hyperplastic candidosis in all of these categories when we are not sure what kind of lesion is that or until the diagnosis complete Uh, we have to go with the biopsy we have to send the specimen to the lab and once the results are out and then only we can determine the course of action